Well hi folks, Friday evening now, first veg show of mine for three years on Sunday so I'll be putting it in tomorrow night, Saturday night. I've not put in a lot in at all because I don't grow anything specifically, specifically for the show anymore but I'm going to put about 11 entries in. So I'm up tonight, what I'm going to take tonight is I'm going to pull a few of my stump carrots up, I'm going to put two in a class for those and some leeks up and then another few more bits and bobs for the carrots to go in different classes and tomorrow I'm going to pull the lettuce up later on pull it up with all its roots try and put it in the jam jar to keep it fresh and that's about it so tonight we're just going to pull a few leeks up and then pull the old stump carrots up see if they're any good so we'll get on and do it all right then folks what I'm going to try and do with these is try and get two well blooming ants have come out again try and get two that have roughly the same thickness same height I'll pull about half a dozen up I'm going to be trying I'm going to try and be a bit careful because I don't want to damage the roots. I'm going to get the roots out intact. I'm right in an ant's nest. God, and this soil is like concrete, believe me. And I'm not kidding you, I've never known soil as hard as this. So it might be a bit difficult to get these out. Especially when the ants are about again. Look at why I've got ants everywhere. Gee whiz, this soil, honestly, it is so dry and so hard. So we'll just ease that one out. We're not getting eaten to death. Gee whiz, that soil is bone dry. So I want to keep the roots on. Obviously what I'll do, I'll peel back the, the old dead split skins. So we get to a nice white skin they're not brilliant i mean they're just pathetic little eating on it eating leeks these nothing like any of the show varieties that you get at the decent shows but like i said it's just a little village show so there won't be anything like that that i'm up against i've never known soil as dry as this So I'm just going to get a pair of these and there's going to be one on its own as part of a class of three different vegetables. See that's what you don't want apparently in leeks, a bulb at the bottom. But anyway we'll see. Pheasants have had a big chew on that one so that one's going to be no good. But we'll keep going and see what we get. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? You can only eat them. <laughs> Make some soup out of them. But this soil is this soil is so dry. Absolutely dust. I'll just keep matching a few up. Like I said, I need what did I say? I need three matching pair. And a single. And your split skins. We'll probably get a pair there. Like I said, nothing brilliant, but uh, we're not up against anything really. I'm only doing it just to fill the shot, just to you know, put a bit of an entry in just so the show's got a few more entries in. I'm not competitive at all in that respect anymore. So I'm not going to rip, pull all these leaks up just for the sake of a little show. Let's have a look. Um, that one's, I'll try that one. And then I think that'll do then. a decent size for eating anyway now so like I said it's no biggie so what have we got there I'm not I'm not too impressed with the fact that the bulb at the bottom that's something you don't want I mean but there we go so we've got five or six there I'm sure I can get a pair out of that like I said nothing not gonna be too brilliant so we'll get open and uh, harvest a few of these carrots now they should be quite impressive I hope 
Yeah. Right then, folks, onto the carrots. The moment of truth. Let's see how these are doing. So these are the sweet candle. Looking big enough at the top. Not much resistance with that one. Soil is again so dry. Not bad. Not brilliant. Try another. A nice size, just about stumped up. Very, so sweet smelling, it's unbelievable. No carrot fly, thankfully. So we'll keep going. Like I said, I want uh, I want a set of two of these and a single one. I'll keep going. It's a bit smaller. It's a big one there. I'll pull these up. Yeah, that's bigger. That's a lovely one that. It's starting to stump up, which means that the end the ends become blunt now, which means that they mature. So if we could find another one like that, that would be good. We'll try this one. Oh, it's right next to it. Let's see. That's a massive one. Gee whiz, I think I might keep that as my as my single one for the plate of three veg. Because it's a bit big, that's huge that. Look at the size of that one. I just want one to match that. Let's have a go. I'll probably pull all this box up. These have all got two in for some reason. We might be down to this one. No, that doesn't feel like it's got much. Funny shape to it, that one. Oh, we might have to start in this box. Let's see if there's any in this box. These were some of the ones that got attacked, attacked by the slugs early on, so we had to do a later sewing. But there's an odd one that's the original sewing. Now, I knew I needed to enter one for the strange vegetable strange shaped vegetable I didn't enter a class for that i might see if they'll let me put that one in oh no let's have a look right there's one more here that's quite big so we'll try this one yeah that could be the one i think we've done it not going to be exact but uh, that's as near as damn it, isn't it? I think, for me, I'm not pulling all my carrots up just for a little show. So I've used those, that pair, just check for any carrot fly. I was going to put two pairs in. I could probably make another little pair out of these, one way or another. But that'll do for me pair. Like I said, only a little show. So I want to keep, look after those. I don't want to be scratching the skin off or snapping the tap root. And that one will do for me, single one in the tray of veg. And then we'll put that in, if they let me do a, a funny, peculiar shaped vegetable. That does look a bit rude, that one, doesn't it? Or is it just my uh, sick mind? <laughs> oh dear. Right then, folks. I think that's about it. Like I said, I'm going to be pulling some more stuff tomorrow. But I won't film that because it's going to rain. That's the only reason I came up tonight to do this because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I might do a little video of the show, show you what's been in. It might not. It might be busy. It might be dead. We don't. Who knows? Because there hasn't been one for three years. So I might do a video and then uh, see how we get on. So that's about it, folks. See you later. Well, I folks got all my stuff home now. I've got it all tidied up, cleaned, washed up, trimmed up. So that's my two little. That's my pair of lakes. Again, not brilliant, but. It'll do. So I've got five spare ones to make some potato and leek soup with tomorrow. These are the carrots trimmed up, tidied up and washed. Quite pleased with those. This camera does tend to make things look bent, believe it or not, because it's got that fish eye effect. They're not perfectly straight, but they're quite good. So I'm quite pleased with that. Got managed to get a couple of garlic out of the disaster garlic harvest of this year. 
I've got uh, the world's most evil cactus to go in. This is my tray of three different veg, big carrot, single leek, and I've got a I've dressed one of my big red onions. And then a little old carrot there. So uh, yeah, that's it. I've got enough. What am I? Gonna, what else I'm putting in tomorrow? I'm going to put a truss of tomatoes in, a lettuce, and a cabbage. But I'll pull those up last thing so they don't wilt. So that's about it. First show for three years. We'll see how we get on.